بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Okay so probably in this section we'll see how we can add the ASA images to the ENG So again uh, we assume that we already have our ENG is running inside the VMware workstation here that's what I'm using and we have logged in with a GUI from any of your browser interface So when I right click on the node right click and select the node if I select the ASA you can see the asa images are disabled because i didn't i don't have the images uploaded so probably for the first time when you install the eng so you may not have images uploaded so we will be doing that so uploading the images is similar to the same process what we did with ios or iol other devices so we need to make sure that we open either a win scp or filezilla software from where you can upload the images so log in to the win scp in my case it's going to be the the eng is 15.38 that's what i'm using on my laptop here the username is root and the password is whatever the password so once you connect now we need to copy the images from from the local computer now this is your local device the local computer and this is your eve ng from where we are going to copy the files so if you have a uh, pre configured files like we we need to copy them inside the folder called slash opt and then unit lab add ons under that there is a there is a folder called kemo now we need to copy from the local local drive So I'm going to select my local drive from where I'll be copying the images from the Kemo. Now, now here you can see there are multiple images. So either I can copy multiple. So when you select multiple, it's going to ask which image you want to run, or it can be more specific. Like I want to run this ASA nine dot one dot five and K eight these two files. So I'm going to simply drag and drop these two images here. and i can click on this button to run this on the background now once you do this depending upon the size of the file it's going to take some time where it is going to copy these uh, specific files here you can see it shows up so meantime if you want to copy any other files you can also do that so in this case once the uh, once it finishes the uploading of the images So basically if you see here once the files get copied now now there is another way actually if you are trying to download the exact images from Cisco then probably there will be a slight difference in the steps because here the images what i have copied they are based on the format what it supports in evng but when you download the files from the Cisco website you will see the format either in this formats So we need to download them from the Cisco website. So once you click on this link, you will be able to download from from the Cisco website any of the updated images. And probably you need to copy the same thing with FileZilla or WinSCP, the same thing what we did. So later on what you can do is you can go to the command line like in my case I can open up a secure CRT or a putty software where i'll try to connect to my eve eveng which is 192.168.15.38 from the command line so i'll say quick connect and i'm going to connect to 192.168.15.38 and then log in with the username and the password and this is the same command line what you will see from from here but again the problem is here you cannot copy paste so probably i'll be using this way and from here you can simply go ahead and copy paste you can create one directory now this creating a directory is same as what we can do from here as well so you can create right click and create a new folder from here as well Uh, or you can just create with the same names make sure that you are using the naming uh, part it has to be the same naming as what is given here so these are the file na image names or how it should look 
So that's one uh, kind of thing you need to remember. And now we, what we are doing is we are moving this image, whichever you have copied, this is the actual name of the image. Now we are moving this to a different name. Okay, so that's what we are trying to do. So which means you are renaming this file and with, with this name. And after that, if you are using some license, you can update your EVNG with these options. And after that, you need to just run some scripts here. And then uh, the other options, uh, if you're using license, you need to fix the permissions. And these other options you can you can try. Normally, I don't do this because I generally go with a image which is already set this one. So if you try to see in my case, I'm running the image in the exact format what it exactly supports. So I don't need to really worry about these settings. So once I do this, once the upload is finished, when you click on the node, if I say ASA, now you can see the ASA images will be shown. Now, depending upon the number of images you upload, you will see the options here and how many nodes you want to add. Let's say I want to add two ASAs and you can set the RAM, you can set the number of interfaces and click on save. You can see I'm, I'm able to load two ASAs. Now I can connect them to my topology either directly. This is how I can connect, let's say or I can connect to the any other network and I can start them. And once you click on start, you will see the device will start. And when you click on it, uh, it will ask you, would you like which application you want to use? So I'll be using secure CRT for all the CLI. You can tick this one always. So anytime when you click on the device, the command line will open up based on the secure CRT. So this is an option. So here I should see the ASA will be booting. And once it finishes the booting process, I should be able to load or I should be able to get into the command line of the ASA.